Hello friends, welcome to all of you. Today we have this SMPS switch mode power supply of Andeli brand and which has some problem. So we will try to repair it. Here we can see that uh, its input voltage is 100 volt to 120 volt AC 5 ampere or 200 volt to 240 volt AC 2.5 ampere and the output is 24 volt DC 10 ampere. Here the connection details are written as follows L4 line N4 neutral and COM4 common and V plus for voltage plus. Now let's connect the input once and see what happens. For the input we will use a series lamp here so that in case of short circuit there won't be any problem. So let's connect 220 volt AC to it now. Now we have already connected the input. Let's check it once with the multimeter. The input is showing 226 volt and the output is showing 0 volt. Additionally the green color LED is not glowing. So let's it proceed to open. Here we have opened it and upon closure inspection we can see that this is the input area this section appears to be the emi filter section and this is the fuse the component level at bd1 is the bridge rectifier now let's start to check the suspected component step by step first let's check the fuse the fuse is indicating that it is fine after that we will check the bridge rectifier and it is also it is also showing good next we will check this uh, transistor it has three pin the first one begin the base the second one collector and the third one emitter to check it we will place the red probe on the base and black probe on the emitter and collector our transistors are also good here the fuse appears to be fine the bridge rectifier also in working condition and the power transistor is in also good condition however despite all this the smps is still now not working so let's turn the power on again and we will check the voltage across the bridge rectifier here to bridge rectifier we see the symbol for ac current which one is input and there are marking for negative and positive terminal which one is output of bridge rectifier we need to keep in mind that this section is high voltage section and this area for switching purpose or control purpose and this one output section and it is important to don't touch any component in the high voltage area as it is can be danger because it has more than 300 dc voltage if you have a experience of electrical or electronics then you can try to repair it otherwise it can be a risk for you here we have the AC voltage available and there is also AC voltage present at the input of the rectifier and at the output terminal it is showing 314 volt DC which means it is functioning correctly up to this point. So the problem seems to be in switching section and in any circuit board capacitor getting damaged quickly. So we cannot uh, test it in connected condition then also they will try to read their value if we look at the printed rating on this capacitor it shows 50 volt and 4.7 microfarad the same rating is mentioned for the other capacitor also 50 volt and 4.7 microfarad now let's try to check them using a multimeter now i set the multimeter to capacitor testing mode i think it may not provide accurate value because still now it is connected with the circuit Nevertheless, let's give it try and see what's reading we get. This capacitor is showing a value around 7.98 microfarad. And after this, we will check this capacitor. And it is showing OL means out of limit. So first we will make it discharge and then again we will check. This capacitor showing value 0 NF. And the same capacitor is here that is displaying around 9 microfarad. So let's replace this capacitor and see what should happen. When we are changing the capacitor, it is crucial to pay attention to its polarity. On the PCB also a marking negative terminal. We will connect the negative terminal of the new capacitor to the negative marking on the PCB. Now we will make it soldering and then we will apply power and then test. 
there is a something change or not i have to already replace this capacitor and now i am going to turning on the input power supply when i turn it on input power we can see that its indicator led start glowing so now let's test output voltage by multimeter and here we can see we get around 26 volt dc output so it means it is working thank you for watching if you found uh, this video informative for you so please share with your friends also and subscribe to my channel for more content on electronics repairing and arduino programming or microcontroller programming